Did you know your diet could be the silent culprit behind your thyroid issues? Alarming evidence suggests certain foods can interfere with thyroid hormone production and balance. Stay tuned to find out if you're eating these thyroid blockers. Welcome to Healthy Remedies Options. Today, we're diving into an important topic, the seven foods you should avoid if you have a thyroid disorder. Throughout this countdown, you'll discover which foods can negatively impact your thyroid health, how they affect your body, and most importantly, what you can do to make better dietary choices. And trust me, you'll want to stick around till the end to find out which common food is most potentially harmful to your thyroid. Plus, we've included a PDF in the description with all the information and studies we reference in this video so you can dive deeper into the science and make informed dietary choices. Without further ado, let's begin this journey towards a healthier you. Number 7. Excessive Iodine while iodine is essential for thyroid health, having too much can be harmful, especially if you have thyroid issues. According to a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, too much iodine can interfere with the normal functioning of your thyroid gland, potentially worsening conditions like Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves' disease. Excessive iodine intake can lead to both hypothyroidism and hypothyroidism as it can trigger autoimmune thyroid diseases or exacerbate existing ones. In regions where iodine deficiency is uncommon, it's important to avoid over-supplementing with iodine. Sources of excessive iodine include iodized salt, certain types of seafood, dairy products, and supplements. The World Health Organization recommends a daily intake of 150 micrograms for most adults, but taking much more than this can lead to thyroid problems. Moderation is key. Be mindful of your iodine intake, especially if you're consuming multiple sources of iodine with your diet. Monitoring your iodine consumption and consulting a healthcare professional can help maintain a healthy thyroid balance. Number six, highly processed foods. These convenient but often unhealthy options harm your thyroid health. Research published in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health shows that these foods lack essential nutrients and contain harmful ingredients that can interfere with thyroid hormone production and regulation. For example, trans fats found in many processed foods can contribute to inflammation and oxidative stress, which can negatively impact the thyroid gland. Processed foods also tend to have high levels of sodium, which can lead to hypertension and fluid retention, further stressing your thyroid. Furthermore, a study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that a diet high in processed foods is associated with an increased risk of autoimmune thyroid disorders, such as Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves' disease. These foods often contain high levels of refined sugars and unhealthy fats that can disrupt your metabolism and immune system, making it harder for your thyroid to function properly. To support your thyroid health, it's crucial to focus on whole, nutrient-rich foods such as fresh fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. These foods provide the vitamins and minerals your thyroid needs to function optimally. Number five, alcohol. Alcohol is another culprit that can negatively impact your thyroid health. Drinking alcohol in excess can interfere with your thyroid's ability to produce hormones properly. According to a study published in the European Thyroid Journal, alcohol consumption has been linked to a decrease in thyroid hormone levels and can also exacerbate symptoms of thyroid disorders. Regular and excessive alcohol intake can damage the thyroid gland, making it harder for it to function correctly. Alcohol does not only affect thyroid hormone production, but also the conversion of T4 to the active T3 hormone, which is essential for your body's metabolism. Additionally, alcohol can lead to inflammation and oxidative stress, 
further harming thyroid function. It also disrupts the liver's ability to regulate hormone levels critical for maintaining a healthy thyroid. Moreover, studies have shown that alcohol can weaken the immune system, potentially increasing the risk of autoimmune thyroid conditions like Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves' disease. Limiting alcohol intake can help reduce these risks and support overall thyroid health. If you enjoy the occasional drink, moderation is key. Number four, dairy foods. Dairy products are a common part of many diets, but they can pose problems for individuals with thyroid disorders. For some people, dairy can interfere with thyroid function, particularly if they have lactose intolerance or a sensitivity to casein, a protein found in milk. These sensitivities can lead to inflammation and digestive issues, which worsen thyroid problems. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that dairy consumption can affect the absorption of thyroid medication. The calcium in dairy products can bind to thyroid medication, making it less effective. This is crucial for individuals on thyroid hormone replacement therapy as it can interfere with maintaining proper thyroid hormone levels. Another concern is that dairy can contribute to inflammation in the body. Chronic inflammation can worsen autoimmune thyroid conditions, such as Hashimoto's thyroiditis. If you suspect that dairy might be affecting your thyroid health, consider alternatives such as almond milk, coconut milk, or other non-dairy options. Consulting with a healthcare professional can help determine if dairy should be limited or eliminated from your diet to support your thyroid function. Number three, gluten. Gluten, a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye, can potentially be harmful to individuals with thyroid disorders, especially those with autoimmune thyroid diseases like Hashimoto's thyroiditis. For people with these conditions, gluten can trigger an immune response that leads to increased inflammation and worsened thyroid function. Research published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism indicates a strong link between gluten sensitivity and autoimmune thyroid disorders. For those with celiac disease or non-celiac gluten sensitivity, consuming gluten can lead to the production of antibodies that not only attack the gut lining, but also cross-react with thyroid tissue, exacerbating autoimmune thyroid conditions. Gluten can also contribute to leaky gut syndrome, where the intestinal lining becomes permeable, allowing undigested food particles and toxins to enter the bloodstream. This condition can further stimulate the immune system and increase inflammation, which can be detrimental to thyroid health. A study in nutrients highlighted the benefits of a gluten-free diet for reducing gut permeability and systemic inflammation. Number two, cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, and kale are packed with nutrients and are generally considered healthy. However, for individuals with thyroid disorders, these vegetables can pose a unique challenge. Cruciferous vegetables contain compounds called goitrogens. Goitrogens can interfere with the thyroid's ability to utilize iodine, which is essential for the production of thyroid hormones. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that high consumption of cruciferous vegetables can inhibit iodine uptake, potentially leading to hyperthyroidism in susceptible individuals. The impact of these vegetables is more pronounced when they are consumed raw. Cooking cruciferous vegetables can reduce their goitrogenic properties. A study in the British Journal of Nutrition demonstrated that boiling these vegetables significantly decreases the goitrogen content, making them safer to consume for people with thyroid issues. In addition to affecting iodine uptake, goitrogens can also disrupt the synthesis of thyroid hormones. This is particularly concerning for individuals with pre-existing iodine deficiencies 
or those who already have compromised thyroid function. Research published in Nutrients highlighted that while moderate consumption of cooked cruciferous vegetables is generally safe, excessive intake, especially in raw form, can aggravate thyroid conditions. By being mindful of how you prepare and consume cruciferous vegetables, you can continue to enjoy their health benefits while supporting your thyroid health. And now, we've saved the most crucial information for last. It's time to reveal the number one food you should avoid if you have a thyroid disorder. Trust us, this one is a game changer. Number one, SOI products. The most potentially harmful food for those with thyroid disorders. Soy is a common ingredient in many diets found in foods like tofu, soy milk, edamame, and various meat substitutes. While soy is rich in protein and other nutrients, it can pose significant challenges for individuals with thyroid disorders. Soy contains compounds known as phytoestrogens, which can mimic the activities of estrogen in the body. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that these phytoestrogens can interfere with thyroid function by inhibiting the activity of thyroid peroxidase, an enzyme crucial for the production of thyroid hormones. Additionally, soy products can influence the absorption of thyroid medication. Research in the Thyroid Journal indicates that consumption of soy products can decrease the absorption of synthetic thyroid hormones like levothyroxine, making it harder to maintain proper thyroid hormone levels. This is particularly important for individuals depending on thyroid hormone replacement therapy. Soy is also high in goitrogens, which, as we discussed earlier, can interfere with the thyroid's ability to utilize iodine. A study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that high consumption of soy can exacerbate iodine deficiency, particularly in individuals already at risk. This can lead to the development of goiters and further impair thyroid function. Moreover, the presence of isoflavones in soy can potentially trigger or worsen autoimmune thyroid diseases. High isoflavone intake is associated with an increased risk of developing autoimmune thyroid disorders such as Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves' disease. Opt for alternatives like almond milk, coconut milk, and other non-soy-based products. Consulting with a healthcare professional can help you make dietary choices that support your thyroid health without sacrificing nutrition. With that said, check out the video on the screen for more tips and health insights. With that said, check out the video on the screen for more tips and health insights.